try to find a zen in the madness of New York. It's a city that's constantly moving, a city that's always in flux, always in change. You know, you gotta find those moments that you can connect with, you know, just look at it from a new perspective. My style of photography is heavily influenced by editorial and documentary. I'm always seeking those moments that inspire me, creating a visual diary of my life. I grew up in the woods on a commune. A lot of my connection with the outside world came through National Geographic. I would just look at all these amazing stories from like around the world that you know, I had no idea about. It propelled me forward to see more of the world and be a world citizen. My creative process is finding something small that appeals to me, and then kind of really digging into that, riffing off that moment. I've been spending a lot of time walking around my neighborhood, finding and documenting the tiny moments. I don't necessarily realize the enormity or the meaning of a scene until like, I'm looking at the photos later. It's about really telling the story of the world as I see it sometimes. So much of my work is social media based, and so as we incorporate more visuals into our language, we're really becoming a, a very visual society. It's because so much more is conveyed with an image. When Hurricane Sandy came through New York, we were shooting a lot of photos and it really kind of helped get the word out about what was going on on like street level. That's, you know, the real power of social media right there. It's been super helpful being able to pull up, open up the computer, they kind of wirelessly transfer over. We put them in Lightroom and, you know, it's blast off. 